Hey everybody, welcome to Shoot the Veil. We are here to connect, create, and grow ridiculously crazy good wedding photography businesses. We love weddings. We love you. We're excited to talk about how to make your business better today through some very cool ways. We're going to talk about raising expectations, surprising people with service, something yes. that is kind of lost in our culture today. Exactly. We're really going to focus on stopping the overpromising. Mm and really f focusing on over-delivering. Tell me what that means, unpack so that. That really means creating something that they're gonna expect. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna expect the photos, they're gonna expect you to be there with a, with a good, you know, a good, great mood and yeah. be happy. But what are some things that would, one, make you just an awesome person, and two, create a really good business mm -hmm. in, as a byproduct? Because they're, they're not gonna post, oh my gosh, I actually got what I paid for. Right. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> what are they going to like share with their friends? It's it's those weird, unexpected, over the top, either like going further or in surprise ways serving yeah. them. Okay, cool. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's like anything in life, really. You're gonna pay for something, but when that someone just goes a little a one step forward, you know, mm -hmm. and does that something that just makes you talk about it. I mean, we all have those experiences. Mm. Yeah. I know, like for example, my wedding photographer. She she did our wedding. It was awesome. It's what we had her there to do. Mm -hmm. But as me and my wife were the next day in the in the um, airport, she sent us twenty four hour sneak peeks, right? And like thirty photos. You didn't we know she we was didn't know that. she was going to do that. Mm. And that was so awesome to be like, oh my gosh, here it is. We had just got the. I wasn't expecting this for another two three weeks. Yeah. But she sent us those thirty photos. Wow. And it was something that I didn't pay more. For, I didn't pay for. Mm -hmm. She just did it out wow. of the goodness of her heart and growing her her yeah. brand and being a great person. Right. And now here I am talking about it. You're still talking about it. I'm still talking about it. You talked it. about it then, you showed it to all of your friends. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. And if she, I bet if she would have, when you booked her, if she would have had that as a package upgrade Yeah. for like $300, you'd be like, nah, we're fine. We're fine, right, exactly. I'll, I'll she would have been like, no, really, I wanna do this. It's only 300 bucks, you're like, oh, we're good. Yeah, exactly. But would she would she spare that 300 bucks for all of the crazy over the top marketing you gave her to all of your followers, all of your friends, all your family seeing her. Right. And even if like I posted those and I didn't say, so are my amazing photographer just gave me these 24 hour sneak peeks. Mm -hmm. But even if all the people, my 300 people at my wedding saw that the pictures were posted the next day, they're still thinking, Oh yeah, they got those quite fast. Right. Right. That's true. While it's the so, euphoria is still there. The euphoria is still there and mm -hmm. they're still thinking of it. And it's mm -hmm. just something that, you know, kept them thinking about it. So why don't photographers just do that all the time for every wedding? Well, there's a few reasons. And I think that's one that it's sometimes it's, you can't do that. Mm. You know, it's hard to, it's hard to throw it in. And, right. and that's one thing that I wanted to talk about is why we shouldn't over promise because mm. there are going to be those wedding days where they just take everything out of you, man. Wow. You get home at 12 o'clock and you're like, yeah. There's no way. <laughs> if I'm if I'm going yeah. to church in the morning and then I come back and I have and then it's 3 p.m. Yeah. I don't want to edit some photos right now. Yeah. But then there might be that wedding day and it's like, you know what? I can be awesome today. Mm -hmm. I can send them this. Their photos I know looked amazing. Yeah. I had a beautiful golden hour. I want to send them right. some photos. And so, you know, they're still getting what they paid for. The right. person that doesn't get the sneak peeks, mm -hmm. they're still getting what they paid for. They're still happy with what they're gonna get. Yeah. And there's other ways you can serve them, mm -hmm. but it also gives you more freedom to serve when you can. Right. If that makes any sense. And if everyone was expecting it, it wouldn't any longer be a gift. Exactly. It would just be, yeah, I paid for 24 hour stuff. Where's my stuff? Exactly. <laughs> Reminds me of that one quote that you, <laughs> from Incredibles. It's the super same. He goes, once everybody has superpowers, nobody does. Wow. And I don't know. That stuck with me as a little kid watching like, whoa, big Remember brain. Remember that. <laughs> And so if everybody has sneak peeks, it's not really... It's not really a special I mean, thing. Just, yeah, I got what I paid for. This is what I get. Mm. But when you give it to somebody and they're expecting the three weeks, mm -hmm. oh, no way. Sam got yeah. us the photos. Yeah. That's awesome. I can't wait to post these. I've done it with as few as like three photos. Like I've surprised really? people. <laughs> like like I'm literally. I love those three photos. And it was... It doesn't have to be 30. Exactly. It wasn't like work. It was just a joy like... I just really wanted to look at that photo that I took of that scene because mm -hmm. I remember it being just so cool. Right. And so I just really wanted to get it out and look at it. Like, you know what? While I'm here, why don't I just edit? Yeah. Play with it a little bit. Wow, that's so cool. And I'll send them a couple. 
Right. And you know, there's those photos that you take during the wedding day and you're like, oh, that one's going to pop. Yeah. It's going to really pop. Yeah. And so you go in and you do a quick call, mm -hmm. 10, 15, 25 images. Yeah. Put your preset on them and yeah. little tweaks. So this is important because uh, I actually have screwed this up before. Okay. Like I've posted the picture. Oh, yeah. I, I know. It's yeah. not as good. Tell me, tell everybody why that's not advisable. Exactly. Well, let's put it like this. Let's say you're at a restaurant, right? And um, you see your waiter mm -hmm. and let's just say he's taking pictures of the food before he brings it to you. <laughs> that would... That would irritate me. Kind of weird. That would, that would, yeah. Let's say, oh, I want to, I want to take pictures of your food before, yeah, we give it to you. Mm. Well, then, am I really your main focus here? Wow. So that's what, that's why we shouldn't post the photos. And let's say you, you do give them some, you, you yeah. edit these photos and they're sneak peeks, and you're like, oh, I, I gotta post these on the gram right now. Mm -hmm. Send it to them first. Yeah. Make sure they get their wow in. Yeah. Their thank you. Yeah. Then post them. Is it okay to text it to them? Yeah. 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 Okay. Be personal. It doesn't yeah. have to be an online deliverable link. Right. I mean, there's times I'm just like, here, I'm going to put that in iMessage and send it right over. Absolutely. And that's totally cool. Like, Makes hey, guys, I had so much fun yesterday. I'm going through the pictures, just looking at everything. Yeah. These oh. just popped and I had to send you a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Then once they've seen them and, the, and you sent them over, mm -hmm. post them then. Okay. So that way they're not feeling like you're just another tool for marketing. Would it be okay to, to ask them like, Hey, would y'all be cool if I posted these after they've seen them? Like they get them, they love them, they give you the heart emojis back. I mean, yeah, you can. Yeah. I mean, in my contract, it says that I have all full rights as well. Sure. So, but you mean, but I mean yeah. like emotionally, it's okay for you. You send them to them. Yeah. Do you give them any time before like to allow them to post them? Or do you like sit and like, hey, are y'all going to post these? Because I'm going to, if you're not, or. Um, I would say. I'd be so itching to just post it. I, I would say that I okay. really love these images. Are y'all cool if I post them? There you go. If they say, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. If they say, would you be cool if you waited like five hours? We really want to post these. Right. And then you, or, I mean, they most can respond. People aren't yeah. going to say that, but yeah. if they do, mm -hmm. you can wait five hours and then yeah. post them. Um, and so that just builds another barrier yeah. of trust. It builds another, oh, I love this guy. So I posted before, I told you I, I screwed it up. Like I, I just posted some, yeah. I tagged them, yeah. but I got the response that I wasn't expecting. I didn't expect, I, I expected them to be like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. But what I got was we would have loved to post these. Mm. And it was just sort of a, like, oh. I know they loved them, right. but it was kind of a deflated these are great. Hope you had fun posting our pictures. Yeah, this I mean, it would have been nice. To right, post. it is their most. It's like <laughs> their most intimate moments as a couple. Yeah, and it's 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 one. Imagine you're in a theater mm -hmm. with thousands of people, and you're just not getting to see that for the first time with them. Right. I don't know. That that make my heart pound really fast. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I think it's a good thing to wait. And yeah. I, I have seen a lot of photographers say, "It's your photos. Do what you want." That's true but it's also your business mm -hmm. and it's a lot bigger than your gram. Right. So, yeah. So there's just a way yeah. to do it. You're going to get to post them, it, but there's regardless. a way to do it where they feel honored first. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, cool. Exactly. So going back to the over promising yeah. versus over delivering, okay. over delivering. Yeah. Um, it goes into the whole 24 hour sneak peeks wrapping up with there. Mm -hmm. You don't have to tell them, oh, I'm going to give you 24 hour sneak peeks. Surprise them, mm -hmm. give it to them, mm -hmm. and don't say anything. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, there's a beauty in that. Yeah. There's a power in that. And that, that can apply to a lot of other things. How can mm -hmm. that apply to video mm. if you're a videographer? Yeah. So when you're a videographer, it, people are expecting three months. So the, right. the bar of expectation is so low. For you, you can exceed that very easily. Right. Most videographers actually push it to the limit. I, like, I'm guilty. Oh. You've got three or four months, and you tell them, hey, it's been a busy a season, and we're going we're to need another month. Like, because people just expect video takes long, and it does. Um, it really only takes four or five days to do video. <laughs> <Shh>. <laughs> we won't tell the world. It really only takes four or five days of like devoted time and right. energy. But when do you have five straight days to do nothing else but that? Right. Um, so anyway, it doesn't take four months, but we're so busy. And there are certain seasons of the year when it's just insane. It, it really does take that long to get to 
being able to give that much energy to it. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling about how hard video is, but the point is to your question, if you can get something to them in a few days, yeah, I've even seen videographers beat the photographer on a sneak peek. Man, we, one like of our something members, simple. One of our members, Hayes Porter. Yeah, he he went and showed us that. He sent it to me, and and believe you too. And he said I beat the photographer. Yeah, and here's this sneak, this thirty second sneak peek. There wasn't any vows or right. anything like that, but it was just like this amazing. Just yeah. oh, look at these shots of the wedding day. Yeah. I can only imagine what the client thought of that. Right. He didn't promise that to them. Right. But. And again, going back to the, like the contract moment, if you were a bride and groom looking at, would you pay an extra five or 600 or a thousand dollars for a 30 second sneak peek a few days after the wedding? Like, no, I'm good to wait. Mm -hmm. No one chooses that, but this is such a great opportunity. So don't even put it in your package. Like, that's not a value add that they or, really or put want. put it in your package, put it at the one that's crazy, the crazy package. In the crazy package, it's just all kinds of stuff. That's right. cool. Yeah, but don't put it, don't don't even talk about it Yeah. in the in the lower things and um, and then surprise them. But yeah, that's so huge. So that's, it, how long do you think that took Hayes to pull together? It may have taken him two hours. Yeah. But what did that do for everybody who was following them? Right. Everybody, the hundreds of people that were there at the wedding day, mm -hmm. when they went and saw, oh, wait, yeah. Hey, um, so-and-so just posted. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's video. Yeah. That videographer was obviously really cool, but he just gave them a sneak peek within what, 24, 48 hours. Yeah. So now what you're, was, so you've this got this euphoric again? wedding moment that happens on a Saturday or whatever. And then two days later, you're still feeling like you can still remember what it sounded like and the food tasted like, and you can remember seeing the bride and groom dancing and it was such a great event, wasn't it? Yeah. And, and then you see this happen on social media and it's bringing all those back so quickly. If it's four months later, you've lost all that built in emotion. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's powerful. It is. So if you could just plan to do that for brides, like plan it into your week the way you do, the way you plan, I'm going to sit down and do social today. I'm going to sit down and do like you told us, I'm going to do Google my business this week. I'm going to, I'm going to put in an hour or so here. Put in an hour to create a little sneak peek in some way. And the, what we're trying to put into your brains is find a way to surprise people. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a sneak peek, but find another way to surprise people. Exactly. Um, marketing is not just ads and portfolio. Yeah. That that may cover 25% of your marketing. Yeah. That's, that's not what people talk about. That's not, I mean, yeah, exactly. So yeah, we, you know, go listen to the last podcast and we'll talk to you about like the good, hard marketing and, and all of that. Mm -hmm. But there are certain aspects that, or like for your referral, yeah, which is the best way for marketing. Referral 100% trumps anything else. Mm -hmm. So when, you, when you're focusing on that, which is a completely different field yeah. of overachieving, man, you're killing yeah. it. You're putting, you're putting everybody in checkmate with just hitting them in every, every corner possible. Right. He was awesome on the wedding day. He was fun to talk to. He had a great team. Mm -hmm. He sent them 24-hour sneak peeks, and he delivered them yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just this whole cross of yeah. four different angles of he's good. Yeah. He's great. And all the he's amazing. He's the best. Right. Yeah. So get that going through their mind. Yeah. And so that when every time they, they come back, they're thinking of, oh, I actually know this one photographer who did my friend's wedding. Yeah. Well, I did this one videographer who did my friend's wedding. Yeah. So you're getting these secondhand referrals for people who weren't actually your client too. Mm -hmm. And that can go a long way. That's and everything. I've had, I've had, I've had one secondhand um, person. I haven't I haven't done work for him. Mm -hmm. He referred me four weddings, <laughs> four. I was like, "Girl, you're great." I wasn't. I, would, I didn't even like give her ref, like a like an affiliate. <laughs> yeah, whatever code, yeah. whatever. But she she was just. I was like, "Thank <laughs> you. You're you're so awesome." Yeah. Um, and that's another way we're we're rambling on that. And there's there's a few other ways that you mentioned to me earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That you can just endear your client. Right. So I was trying to think of other industries. Um, one that's easy for me to think about is our favorite restaurant in Memphis, Tennessee is, is Napa Cafe. Yeah. One, it's just, it's great food, but I think it's the service and it's the little added things that make, like my whole family thinks that's where we're going if it's our birthday. Like any of the kids, I got my teenagers like, hey, we're going to Napa, it's, it's Caleb's birthday. And the reason is Glenda, the owner, just does little special things for you. I've seen her go run to Whole Foods and buy a cake and come back and put a candle on it for somebody's birthday. 
Wow. I've seen her like every time we go, the reason my kids think that is when they show up, there's a special menu that has happy birthday, Caleb across the top. No way. And after we order, they take it and they roll it up into a scroll and they tie a bow on it and they deliver it to him at the end of the night. All my kids, if it's our anniversary, there's special things on the table. It takes 10 cents and a whole lot of thought, right? Mm -hmm. It, It costs her nothing, but that's way better marketing than having a great website. Proof of that marketing is you're not talking on a podcast. And I'm sharing about the story. A restaurant in yeah. Memphis. Yeah. So yeah. It's it's a gift that's gonna keep on giving. You know, this is okay, this is kind of crazy. Um, it's one of those weird little science things that I love. I love studying marketing and human behavior. And I heard this study done on uh, American restaurants. They studied thousands of different restaurants and they looked at waiters and their tips. And the one difference maker, this was crazy. There, well, there were two. One was like the front end service. Did the waiter read back the, the your order? It makes the people feel heard. Tips went up like 5% just from that one action of just reading back. Okay, so I have da-da-da-da. So people feel heard. But what was really crazy, like the big difference maker was having a mint delivered with the, the bill. Wow. Tips went up like 10%. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. And if it's every night, what was even crazier is if you deliver two mints, it went up like another three or four percent, which is so mind blowing. So if you're a waiter, start delivering mints. Your tips, yeah. like it was across the board. Everybody, no matter what city, like tips went up when you just did a little thing that was extra. Mm. Mm. Seems like such a no brainer, but that that just proves the point. We expect so little when it comes to service. And wedding industry, we're a service industry. We are. So is are there any things, let's just kind of think out of the box, like we didn't script this. Are there any things you could do beyond the what's in your contract or like things you deliver? Like a waiter isn't there to deliver mints to you, but like right. what are the added mints you could add to your relationship with that bride or groom? One that I know of is give them a gift card to your print shop. Yeah. And just for free. Like, just for free. Mm. You know, you take some great photos, you know they're just bangers, right? And you're like, this this needs to be a print. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to give them an incentive to buy it. Mm-hmm. And also be nice. What, both sides are winning. <laughs> yeah. Um, here is a $100 gift card to my print store. Yeah. These are so good. I want to see this over your couch mm-hmm. in the living room. Send me a picture when you get it. Yeah. But I just... Here's a hundred gift card. It's I'm going to send it to you. Free money. Free money. Um, and I think it'll be just awesome. Mm-hmm. Another thing that can, that can apply to any shoot that can apply to a wedding that can apply to a family shoot, whatever you're doing really. Mm. Um, if you're at the wedding and you know, mom and dad really helped out with the wedding. Mm-hmm. What can we do there? I mean, yeah. Tons of different ways. You can also give them a hundred dollar gift card. Yeah. Here's some prints to remember your daughter's special day. Yeah. That's awesome. You've done a lot of work. Here's, a gift card to my favorite restaurant or your favorite restaurant. <laughs> yeah, I love that. So yeah, imagine like, you know, the parents are paying, you know, they, they're maybe you, you could even sense like, this is a big deal. Like this wedding is a big budget. It's a big deal for their family They're but they're putting all into it. There's their baby girl getting married or whatever. Imagine sending them a gift card after you've booked them, like they're all booked and, and the thank you for booking go mom and mom and dad open that envelope and it's a letter from you saying, I know this is a really big deal. It's a really special thing. And you're going to be giving out a lot over the next nine months. Yeah. I just wanted to give something back to you just to say you're awesome. And I see you. Mm. Yeah. Here's, here's 150 bucks to Napa cafe. Go, go right. enjoy your evening. Right. You, you better believe they're going to be telling all of their friends how special their photographer is. You know it. That's I mean, huge. That's, that's a hundred percent. I would always over tell delivery. over delivery. Now imagine if you put that ways. in a package. No one would care. Here's a hundred fifty dollar <laughs> gift card to your mom's favorite restaurant. Right. Mom's seeing that. Okay. That's got me out. I mean, okay, fine. if I want to go to there. a restaurant, I'll, I'll go. I mean, sure, whatever. I'll just. Yeah. But when you do it, mm-hmm. really, Donnie? Are yeah. you serious? Yeah. They're gonna. She's gonna I melt. Might, I might. She starts crying. Yeah. This has been hard. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Um. I needed this. Thank what if you. it's after the wedding? What could you do? What if it's uh, you have a relationship with a, a day spa in your town? Yeah. And you just go, you could do this with any day spa, yeah. wherever you live. Go find one and say, I'm going to give the mom and dad an hour massage after the wedding, 
a couple's massage for mom and dad yeah. after weddings. Would you guys team up with me? And, and I know, hey, this day spa is awesome. I know one. Like, let's go talk to them. You're going to build a relationship with them. Yeah, so They're going to give you a deal because it's marketing them. Cross marketing. And you're not going to tell anybody, mm-hmm. but mom and dad are going to get that card to that day spa and they're going to freak out. And don't put that in the package. Don't ever tell anybody. Let don't them tell, tell everybody. That. Dude, man, that's huge. That's huge, man. So they're, you're, they're thinking of you more. You're, 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 you're taking their mind space and they're going to they're gonna show you off. 100%. I did a wedding in Dominican Republic. And it was beautiful. The bride paid for me and my wife to go. It was awesome. And we had like four or five days there with them. We really had a great time with them. While I was there, I bought a frame that was made out of palm leaves. Whoa. Like handmade. What? And when I didn't tell the bride and groom. And when I got back, I printed their favorite picture and put it in that palm leaf frame and sent it to them as a thank you for, for taking us on that vacation. That was the best part of their whole wedding package, probably, was yeah. that little unexpected thing. And it's like the same location of where they got married. Yeah. Yeah. They that's love hanging. It. That's hanging for a long time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's that's you just made a family heirloom, actually. Yeah, absolutely. That's so much bigger than your business, too. And that's more about. fun. Like it's yeah. it's be, it's kind of boring to do the Google My Business. It feels like work. But these yes. little extra things, when you do them, it comes back to you in not only in business, but just in the way you feel doing your work. Like suddenly it's meaningful. It's, the, gold, meaningful. it's the golden rule. Yeah. It's the golden rule. It's it's what gives us us happiness yeah. and a better life. Mm-hmm. Giving gives yeah. more than you give. That's deep, bro. It's true. It is so, <laughs> it's true. so true. I saw I saw another um, podcast the other day and he said, and this is kind of not necessarily on the same topic, but on the same topic, he said, mm-hmm. and this goes just applies to wedding photography. He said, if it's a business, if you're thinking of a business, ask yourself, is it something that I would do for free? Mm. Is it something that would bring me enough to where that I would do it for free? It's going to focus your mind on the actual building the business and making mm-hmm. something desirable mm-hmm. other than, oh, I'm going to make a, a quick pinch of money here. Yeah. And so when you think about how can I, add value how can i solve this problem yeah you're going to you're going to in a byproduct make a great make a great business yeah and i i don't think i would do just any way of doing business for free but there's something about doing it this way mm-hmm. where you're you're stepping in and actually surprising people with joy and giving them extra experiences that actually we would do for free yeah like that's what makes it a business that is that is on that level where it actually strikes a chord in our soul. It does. Yeah. It does. And it, it, it's, it feels good when you yeah. get to give. And now if you're knowing, oh, I'm on a time crunch and I have to get this out, you're yeah. going to burn out. Yeah. You're going to burn out really fast. And we've all been there. We've all been there. Exactly. Yeah. That you're doing one of 30 weddings that year. And you're mm. like, oh, oh, man, if I don't get these photos out tonight, yeah. let me call my friend and say I can't come to this party or whatever. Right. Go to their hangout. Yeah. So... That's one. Yeah. You're you're giving a good thing to a client. Mm. You're making a friendship versus just having to give something to someone. Yeah. That's a lot of work mm. and you don't really care about it. Yeah. But if you give yourself a reason to care, then you're gonna want to put a lot more into it. And mm. you're gonna enjoy it more. It's just it's yeah. that's our code, man. As humans. That's what we that's what we love to We're do. We're wired for that. We're wired for that. We're built that way. We created that way. I've noticed like in relationships, when I choose to serve, I actually love the person more, even if we were in conflict, you know, and we don't have to go too deep into this, but in special relationships where you, you sort of have to stay in relationship, whether it's a friend or a a relative or a, or spouse, like there are moments when you don't necessarily feel all the, (laughs) the right feelings, like you're kind of ticked off or whatever in some way you can muster up the energy to just get along or even better, you can serve them. Mm. If you serve them in some sacrificial way, it actually creates all the endearment that you would have worked so hard to actually muster. Yeah. So that applies to weddings. Like if if there's a couple, um, what, no, if every couple, if every couple you enter into thinking, what is a one special thing in every relationship that I have business wise, I'm going to do one special thing that blows their mind in some way, a little way. Just one. 
just something. It's going to change the whole way you do business. That's fun. That's going to change your business, y'all. If you step into every business relationship thinking, I just got to think of one thing. Just it could even if it's just a letter out of the blue. Yes. If if that's your baseline, you you start requiring of yourself, I'm going to do one little extra thing, and then you're going to start getting creative because the letter is going to be boring now. Now I got to do something else. Now I got to find. He's super into the Rams for some reason, and like yeah. so. I'm so I'm going to find a, a jersey and I'm going to bring it to the engagement session and say, Hey, dude, heard you're in. Uh, I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, like you're no. stalking him, but I don't know. Just get creative. <laughs> Get creative. Find your couples. Know your couples well enough. Maybe on the engagement, you heard he's really into something. Add that into your questionnaires. Right. Good. So that's that's way one way you don't look like a stalker. Okay. Good. <laughs> uh, always. Add, I, I. What's your favorite restaurant? Yeah. That's cool. Um, what's your favorite band? Yeah. That's cool. That way you get to kind of know their vibe a little more. I did a, a wedding. They were every song was a fish song, like at their wedding. Like they were so into fish. Like, like the band. Like there's a band fish. Oh, okay. And, and it was, was like, like, <laughs> like uh, not a fishing song, not about oh. fish, but it was a band called Fish. That it's sort of like the Grateful Dead. Like people were into fish, and they would follow them to all the concerts. And oh, wow! Okay. So these people were super into fish. Wow! I missed it, but I should have done something mm. with that. I should have given them a gift. I should have done some like a T-shirt or hey, here's some weird little thing from a fish concert. Those are the kind of once you know your couple, like those are the things that blow their mind. So good. I don't and know why a, we brought the a, fish, but anyway, have fun with that. Yeah, go go get them some fish merch, man. <laughs> They'll love you forever. It's probably <laughs> oh, you know, it's probably their anniversary coming up soon. I could go find something and send it to them. That's right. There you go. Well, I think there's a lot to be applied there. Yeah, I think this is a, a definitely something when you're if you're editing and you're listening to this, think mm -hmm. about some ways. Add it to your little to do list. How can I serve my couples? Mm -hmm. And come from it from a good heart. Make sure you're make sure you're enjoying it. It'll create not, a good heart. It'll create a good heart. Service yeah. creates a good heart. Mm. And um, I think you'll see a change in your in your in your mental psyche and how you how you approach things. Mm -hmm. And it'll also change your business. Yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Well, awesome. Once again, this was fun. I enjoy doing this. This is awesome. Making some good businesses out there. That's right. I'll keep going. We'll see you guys on Shoot the Veil. Ask any questions. Throw in some podcast ideas that you'd like for us to talk about, and uh, we will love to see you guys next time.